and good morning everyone. My name is Kavi and this is Afi. We are from K13 and today we are selling, we are working at Pasatani. Yes. At our stall, we sell dried chili, dried fish, anchovies, anchovies flour, nuts, peas and our main products here are garlic, lots of different types of onions and potatoes also. Spices. Spices and potatoes. La Pamblas. Ah, La Pamblas. Sunga kilo. Yeah. So what do we do here? Yeah. Whenever a customer comes, they put what they want to buy inside this basket and they give us. I will calculate what is the price and after here we will pack everything in a plastic and it give to them. Yes. Yes. And that is what we do here. Thank you. Thank you. And good morning everyone. So we just returned from the Pasatani camp. Yes. And now today we are going to do a quick reflection on what we learned. Yes. We learned some important lessons from the Pasatani. Afib? Okay, from my experience of Pasatani, uh, we learn how business with other people, with customers, to be exact. How we can, how to communicate with them and always talk with them. Because that is how we persuade people to come to our store, which is by attracting them with certain topic and try to communicate with them. And also, when we are at store, we should neglect them. Like, we should pay attention to what they are doing because they are, they are our customers, so we have to pay attention to them. So yes, as, doc, as our lecturer reminded us, you should not play our phones when doing our business. We should have 100% focus on our customers and the products that we are selling. Yeah. Other than that, we also learned some new social skills. For example, the shop owner at the stall taught me how to use the electronic weighing machine and how to add the prices manually one by one. And beyond that, we also learned how to calculate the prices manually in our head. For example, if a person buys 16 ringgit 50 cent worth of items and then they gave me 100 ringgit, I have to know the balance of how much I have to give that person. And Afif, what do you learn about packaging? Oh, about packaging. We learn how to that when we when the customer uh, buy many things, we have to use a bigger plastic than rather than a small plastic. If they buy like like a couple of things, we just use a small plastic. And also, uh, because we sell onions and other raw products, we have to like uh, sort them, like divide them, then and then don't put them in one plastic. So that's why we separate them in plastic and use a bigger plastic. So yeah. Yes, when you use the bigger plastics, the customer feel more satisfied with our service and want to visit our stall more. And we also learned that we need to memorize the prices of the items you're saying, so we have to manually add it to the machine. For example, I learned that the big onions cost seven ringgit per kilo. The potatoes cost 4 ringgit 40 cent per kilo and the garlic cost 14 ringgit per kilo. See, even now I still remember the prices because that's what the Pasataniya taught me. And beyond that, some of we also learned about how difficult the life is for a regular person doing business. Because during that Pasatani we had to stand for a long period of time. And I think that made us appreciate what the shopkeepers and normal business people do, right? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, this is hard business. Pasatani is quite a hard thing to do for normal people. We can see that there are many characteristics of customers we come. Some may may complain, some may say things and some may offer uh, the price lower than expected from uh, the seller. So yeah, so they have to overcome many difficulties but still they still survive at, at the Pasatani. Me and Afif have a few suggestions to improve the Pasatani in the future. For one, I think that we should extend the length of the Pasatani instead of just one morning. Try to make it like maybe a weekend or something. Because if we extend the time, we can maybe learn more about things like how to unload and prepare our stall before the day starts and how to pack and settle everything after the day ends. And also, uh, I would say, uh, we would suggest that uh, the Pasatani, because they have a gap between a uh, certain time frame, so uh, I suggest that uh, each and every group can has changed their work like from uh, selling fish to selling chickens and such because uh, it will expand more on their experience and such. And lastly, we hope that in the future these kinds of activities, these practical activities like visiting the Pastani can be held for futures as per students as it gave us a lot of new experiences and it was very fun. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you.